What up guys, Mike G with MDG Collections on hand. Today is March 28th, 2017, and uh, this video is gonna be a couple of projects that I got coming up for the car. So I'm just gonna go over what I'm doing. And I already, uh, as you guys know, tinted the windows 5%. So I got them just how I want it, nice and dark. And uh, now I'm just gonna go over, I'm sitting here in my passenger seat so I can use what I like this dash as to be a, a top shelf. It's almost, it's almost like a countertop. I love how flat it is. You can just like put things on top, kind of like a counter. So I like that. So I don't have to go upstairs and do this in my house because everything's about the car. So anyways, I'm just gonna go over what I have for the car, the two things that I'm gonna be doing in a few days or actually one of these things I'm gonna be doing in a few days. So the first thing is the dash cam. I got the uh, Thinkware dash cam. It's rated pretty high. It's one of the highest dash cams out on the market right now. As you know, it comes with a dual ca camera system, front camera here, and then you have the rear camera, both 1080p. So I'm gonna be going to some guys and I'll probably be doing that the hard wire uh, route which you know taps into your uh, fuse box. They're real. These guys are real good over there. They do a lot of high-end cars, a lot of cars with very high high-end electrical uh, procedures. So they sh they should be pretty good with doing this. I know I can I can trust them as far as not messing up anything. So instead of me going the route to just use the regular plug and play here into my uh, always on so and you can't you can't get one of the features that the camera has the parking feature when you do it that way but when you do it this way with the with the hardware option you get the full effect of each options that's on the camera so I'll probably be going that route unless they can tell me or convince me there's a better way they can do this and I just skip out on the parking feature where they can like do it through the liner but I don't want anything tacky I want it to I want it to look clean so yeah that's pretty much what I'm doing first second I'm going to be after I wrap the car I already got the 392 decals that I want to use I'm only using the uh, 392 top part I'm not using the Hemi part because on a Daytona it just comes with the 392 that vinyl like sticker type decal so I'm trying to stay in the same family. I'm not trying to go different from that and put the Hemi part. So I'm just going to use this 392. This is a three-dimensional 392 badge, not just the one that's just like a flat sticker on the car when you buy it with the decals. So I already got this one, and I'm waiting for the other one to come in. I actually got this. I got the second one for a cheaper price than I got this one. But what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to get the car wrapped with a SunTech PPF first. He uh, he recommends me wrap the car first, and then put these de and then put the actual emblem on over the the actual um, the car wrapping because I was just gonna put them on now and let him just outline the uh, the, the the car wrap around those 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 numbers. But he's telling me it's best to just put the wrap on first and then put and then put the adhesive on on top after it's already wrapped. So right now I'm just driving around with the car with no decals or I, I should say no emblem on it so the other thing I was going to do was some, uh, eventually get a sway bar for the uh, engine block but that will be coming down the line but for right now this is what I'm doing to the car immediately as you can see I'm at 145 miles at this point so still breaking her in not at the 500 mile mark yet, but I'm getting there. And when that comes, I'll be able to, I guess, feel more of a, a throttle from what people tell me. It, it's almost like the throttle becomes more aggressive and the car opens up a little bit. But those are the things that I'm doing. I'm also looking to get this screen, uh, the screen protected also. He's got, a, he's good with uh, doing screen protectors for the uh, dash navigations and cars so I'm gonna actually get that done right now I just got the plastic still on it from the factory so it looks pretty bad but whatever I got it on I don't want to take that off for now and 
I'm not a big fan of the uh, lighting your car up, or I guess I guess you should you should say when you open the doors at night, your your lights come on. I'm not a big fan of that. With my last car, the Genesis that I had, I had LED lights for over seven years, so and I never used them, so I'm I'm doubting I probably even change these to LED because at night I don't like my car to light up like that. When I open my doors, I like to, I like it to just stay dark. So. I don't care about these lights how they are. I mean, to me, I, I like how they kind of look old school. It's kind of like that old school look, and it's not like that LED look. Like I said, I don't even use the LED lights. Period. On my last car, I just it, like I never used them, so I'm not gonna go invest and go into like changing all the lights into LED when I I, I don't even use these lights. So this doesn't bother me because I I'll never use them. I'll use this to find something one night. That's about it. But I can care less about having that LED look in my car where I switch all the lights under the doors, in the glove compartment, the trunk. I'm not, I can care less. So I'll probably just leave those how it is. I may, what I may do is I may put maybe an LED light over the, uh, the license plate in the back. I may do, I may do that one, but probably not even do that. I'll see. But as far as the inside of the car, I'll just leave the lights how they are to be honest so yeah it's just gonna be a quick video I'm not gonna go too much into talking you guys to death but that's what I'm doing so when I'm actually doing these projects I'll make a video on my way there and film a little bit of the guys while they do the job because I know them over there so I'll put their info in the description of this video so you guys can see who they are if you're in the area, they do uh, incredible work. They have an Instagram page. And they do from every car you can think of, Audis to Maseratis to Lexus, BMW. They do all kind of you know Rolls Royce. So I don't think they're gonna come to a problem electrically with the uh, with my charger. So they should be able to do this with no problem. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up. Looks like it's going right at eight minutes, which is perfect, ladies and gentlemen. That's gonna be a wrap.